Good morning. Good morning, people. So I am going to tell you a quick way to make your own sun-dried tomatoes, and we're not gonna freeze dry. We're not gonna freeze dry them, and we're not gonna can them. Uh, they don't can very well, and I like to use my little chine, tiny cherry tomatoes. So let me walk you through this, and I'll explain to you why I do it. So first of all, cherry tomatoes. We all love them. These are sun gold tomatoes. Uh, they're my favorite. I'm looking for an heirloom variety that will be just as good, but it is what it is. These are what I bought this year. Uh, I wash them, I clean them, and then I slice them in half. Once I'm done slicing them in half, I put them on my dehydrator. And then I turn my dehydrator on. And as you can see, this was a full colander. So I've got two racks there, and I probably have mm, probably enough for another another full rack so this will fill and then on the bottom one will have half of them on there um you can sprinkle salt on them you can put basil on them you can put oregano on them if you had fresh herbs that would be awesome i haven't harvested my fresh herbs yet so i'll probably do another batch because this is just this is what i got today this is what i've already finished in this bag and this is what they look like when they're done excuse my band-aid i uh, tore my fingernail butchering chickens the other day so these are what you're going to dehydrate it to. They're not, as you can see, they're not hard. They're, they, you can move them. They're squishy, squishy, just like a sun-dried tomato. Now, if you were like putting these on the counter or in your fridge, you would take it to this, and then you would put your seasoning in a, in a container, and then you would put your olive oil in there. And that's what you would do, because you have to keep them under the oil in order for them not to get any bad bacteria and stuff in it. But we're not going to do that. We're simply going to take them when they're at this place, we're going to take these racks and we're going to slide them dehydrated to this point right into your freezer is what we're going to do it goes right into your freezer on these racks and you're going to let them freeze and because they're little um only takes a few hours and then this is what you have you're going to have a bag full of dehydrated or dried dehydrated semi dehydrated because you want them malleable you don't want them you know hard and you're going to put them in the freezer. Once they're frozen on the trays, they easily come off. They don't stick together. You're going to put it in the freezer and you're going to leave it there. And then all through the winter, whenever you want to add this to soups, to, add to stews, take it out, rehydrate it with some olive oil, with some basil in it or some oregano, chop it up, put it in a salad dressing, put it on top of fish, put it on top of chicken, throw it in your pasta. It is amazing in pasta. So you're going to take all of these little cherry tomatoes that you don't know what to do with because nobody can eat them all. And you're going to make yourself a bunch of semi freeze dried, we're going to call them dehydrated freezer tomatoes. And these will last for a year. You'll use these up before they go bad. And it's just an easy way to have them to expand your, your, your harvest and keep it going through the winter. And you don't have to worry about canning. It's easy. You don't have to can. You don't have to worry about the botch list. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Simple, easy peasy way to have tomatoes in February. And you know what? When you pull one of these out and you rehydrate it and you stick it in your soup or you stick it in your chili, it's good in chili too. Take a bite of that, you're gonna think you just went outside and picked a fresh tomato out of your garden. It's gonna bring you right back to summer. So there's a quick how-to, super short and sweet, but I hope you enjoy your summer harvest in February.